uh, binomial expansion uh, allows us basically to expand a binomial. So let's say I have 2x plus 3y to the fifth power. Binomial expansion is a shortcut way of simplifying this. Instead of multiplying this out, like foiling it five times, or it'd be more than foiling, right, which would take quite a long time, what you could do is immediately do this. Take your um, 5, 2, 0, I'll show you how to get that in a second, times 2x to the fifth times 3y to the 0. So I took this term and I raised it to the fifth power, and I took that term raised it to the 0 power, which is obviously going to be 1, but then keep doing that. Now I do 5 choose 1 times 2x to the fourth power, it's going to reduce by 1, <coughs> and this is going to increase by 1, and keep going. 5 choose 2, 2x to the third power, 3y squared, then add 5 choose 3, 2x squared, 3y cubed, plus 5 choose 4, 2x to the first, 3y to the fourth, plus 5 choose one, uh, 5, 5 choose 5 of basically 2x to the 0, which means nothing, which means 1 and that. Okay? And so how to find these numbers, there's also a nice shortcut for finding this. this you can use your calculator. This is essentially 5 choose 0, which means how many ways are there to choose 0 elements if you have 5 to choose from. Mm -hmm. This is saying 5 choose 2, I'm sorry, 5 choose 1. How many ways can I choose 5, uh, sorry, choose 1 out of 5 elements? This is 5 choose 2, this is 5 choose 3, this is 5 choose 4, and this is 5 choose 5. There's something called Pascal's triangle. Pascal's triangle starts with a 1, and then like this, and then you keep adding the things straight above it. So you always start with the one, end with the one, and you add the two things above it. Three, three, one. One, four, six, four, one. One, five, ten, ten, five, one. One, six, fifteen, twenty, fifteen, six, one, etc. This entire row right here is the row that we need. This is your five choose row. That's five choose zero. This is five choose one. This is five choose two. This is five choose three. This is five choose four. And this is five choose five which is, by the way, very nice, because if you're wondering, hey, there's, uh, there's six elements on the McDonald's menu, and you can choose, your dad says, hey, you can choose three things of the six. How many choices do you have? How many different combinations? That's what this is called, combinations. How many combinations? Well, six, choose zero, one, two, three. You, there's 20 different combinations that you could find of the six <coughs> elements of that menu. That's what combinations is, okay? So this, this row here gives you the coefficient that we just had, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. So this number is 1, I'll do this in purple, or this number is 1, this number is 5, this is 10, this is 10, this is 5, and then this is 1. So your, your expansion is going to be 8x cubed plus 5 times 16 times 3, whatever that is, which is 240. So 240 is your number. And then you've got 4x's and 1y. Your next thing is going to be 10 times 8 times 6. So 8 times 6 is 4, so 480. Right, 480x cubed y squared. Your next one is 10 times 4 times 27. 
127 times 4 times 10. Can you tell me what that equals? 1080. 1080x squared y cubed plus this is 5 times 2 times 81. 60, what is that? Let's see, 81 times 2 is 162 times 5. 810. 810x, y to the fourth. And the last term is, what is that, 243? What's 3 to the fifth? I forget. 243. 243y to the fifth. So there's your expansion of that binomial. Hence binomial expansion. And that's how you use it. You use combination combinatorics or combinations, and you use the pattern that you recognize that it's one's increasing, one's decreasing as you go down. So having done that, if you tried to do that by just foiling out this, by multiplying this out, that would have taken you quite a long time to do. And usually what you'll see is they'll say, hey, what's the coefficient of the x, what's the coefficient of the x squared y cubed term? A lot of times that's what you'll see on a final exam. And so you don't have to do all of that, but you do have to just think it out and just go, okay, x squared y cubed term is going to be this term right here. So all you have to do is take that 5 choose 3 and take 2 squared and 3 cubed. Okay, that's how you do those problems.